some of your own supporters have, I understand, suggest that you now go to ACAS to have independent talks. Surely now that's the right thing to do? Well, we don't rule that out at some stage, but uh, this process has already had independent mediation right at the start. We went to the independent pay review body. They came up with their proposals. We've accepted their proposals, and they're the basis of what we're proposing should change. And at the heart of this, we want to be able to promise every NHS patient that they can get the same high quality care every day of the week. And we've had study after study that said that mortality rates are too high at weekends. And we want to work with doctors to change that, which is why today's decision is so disappointing. But doctors have said they're ready to talk in that format. Don't you have a duty to those patients to say, yes, you will talk? Well, we are very, very happy to uh, look at that possibility at a later stage, but, but you know we have now? because we have some independent proposals. You can't keep going back to uh, more and more independent processes. The pay review body's proposals are completely independent. Uh, both sides gave evidence, and they came up with what we've now proposed. And the right thing now is to discuss those proposals uh, and to do the right thing for patients. And in the end, uh, doctors, as much as me, as much as the government want to be able to promise an NHS that gives that same high quality care every day of the week. The most demoralising thing for a doctor is when they're not able to give a patient the, set, the high quality care that they want to give and that's what we want to put right. But nearly every single doctor, more than half of junior doctors in this country, nearly every single junior doctor who voted, nearly 100% voted to go out on strike. You have completely lost their trust, haven't you? Don't you have responsibility for that too? Well, this is the result, I'm afraid, of a very regrettable campaign of misinformation by the BMA over the summer that's tried to scare doctors about these proposals, suggesting they were going to have big pay cuts. Uh, I would urge every doctor, before they participate in this strike, to actually look at the government's offer. We are bringing down weekend rates in order to improve cover at weekends, um, but we're increasing basic pay by around 11%. Nowhere else in the public sector is getting a pay rise in basic pay of that order. This is a very fair deal for doctors. Three quarters of them will actually see their pay go up. But a quarter rather of them than may having lose a big out argument very about the right thing to do. No, rather than having an argument about this, the right thing to do, instead of striking, is to come and talk to us, to sit around the table, because we all want to do the right thing but for But here patients. they're offering to talk to you just through ACAS, through one method. They're offering to talk and you're saying you won't, not yet. No, we are my door has been open for talks since June and the BMA have refused to engage at any stage with talks. We've had a, a very thorough independent process. We now need to discuss the outcome of that process. I don't rule out the involvement of third parties in the future, but for now, the right thing to do is to call off the strike, come and talk to the government about how we can work together to improve weekend care for patients. But it doesn't look like there's any chance of this strike not going ahead unless you go to ACAS. That's what doctors' leaders are calling for. You're saying no. Therefore, that may appear that it's your decision to allow this strike to go ahead because you want to stick to the principle here, and that risks patients. Well, the tragedy here is that uh, patient safety is being put at risk because since June, when the government have come forward with proposals to improve the standard of care at weekends, uh, the BMA junior doctors have refused to talk to the government, refused to sit around the table and negotiate, uh, even to start that process. Now, if when you have those negotiations, you don't get anywhere, then of course you can talk about whether there's a role for an independent third party. But the first step is to sit around, talk to the government, call off this damaging strike, because we all want to do the same thing which is to improve the standard of care we offer NHS patients at weekends. We know that study after study has shown mortality rates are too high at weekends. We want to do something about that, and that must be what doctors want as well. Just finally, if these strikes go ahead, which looks extremely likely, if patients suffer, if people even lose their lives as a result of this strike, won't you share some of the responsibility for that? I am responsible for making sure that patients are safe in the NHS and that is why I think we have to do something about the fact that currently our weekend mortality rates are too high. We can't at the moment promise NHS patients that they will get the same high quality care seven days a week and it's because I want to do something about that that I want to sit around the table with the BMA, with the junior doctors and say come on this is something that doctors want to do 
as well as the government. Let's talk about a solution. And I think there is enough common ground to do that. But you can't get that if you're refusing to talk. But this strike might risk lives too. And doctors are offering to talk to you through ACAS. And you're saying no to that. Well, don't, don't you have a duty to those patients to explore that avenue? What's holding you back? Nothing. I am prepared to talk without preconditions about any of these proposals. I always have been. But you know, the doctors thinking of striking should listen to the Royal Colleges, uh, Professor Sir Bruce Keogh, Robert Francis and a host of other people who say that striking is the wrong thing to do. The right thing is to sit down and talk to a government that wants to improve weekend care for patients.